So now to answer the question, would I try this type of drug? And the answer is, What's up my peeps, it's Cynthia the Fitness and Wellness Bully here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I am the real life fit to fat and soon to be fit again. Um, not sure if you guys are familiar with that reality show that was years back called Fit to Fat to Fit. Anywho, I am the real life one, okay? I did not gain this on purpose though. <laughs> Let's keep it a hundred. So, someone had asked me what my thoughts were on the latest weight loss drug, particularly the semaglutides, excuse me, which are the Wegovies, the Ozempic, right? There's other classes or other brands of semaglutides out there, um, but those are the ones that most people are familiar with and hear all the time. So um, they also wanted to know if I would try it since I'm on this journey which I thought was a very good question. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what semaglutides are. I don't know why I'm struggling with that. Um, the pros and cons, uh, my thoughts on them, and whether or not I would try it. So let's get to it. So let me get the technical definition. Let me get my computer, darling. So a semaglutide, what is it? It is a peptide that mimics the hormone called GLP-1. That stands for the glucagon-like peptide 1. It targets the area of the brain that regulates appetite and food intake. So this allows calories and fat to be burned while improving energy. It controls blood sugar spikes and lowers blood sugar, as well as reduces appetite, cravings, and cravings. Um, food stays in the stomach longer, signaling fullness in your stomach. So that is why people are losing weight. Now, this started out as, you guys probably know this, as a, uh, a drug for diabetes. Uh, and they discovered that people were losing weight on it. And so now they offer it as a weight loss or the FDA approved it as a weight loss drug as well. Um, it's administered via injection i believe most of them in that class of medication does and you have to administer it in subcutaneous fat a lot of people i've seen inject inject it in their belly and as far as dosage um it may be increased after a month if needed so its sole purpose initially was for diabetes um, but now they're finding that it is um can help people lose weight and I recently saw someone on the news talk about that they're finding that it's also helping people with addiction so that's a very interesting thing um, that this drug can do now um, let's go through the pros about it um, <clears throat> obviously people are losing weight um, a lot of people are losing two to four pounds per week I think four pounds is a bit much every week but that's just my opinion um, it improves insulin resistance and burns fat and boosts energy, which is good. Um, this is FDA approved for weight loss, as I mentioned. And um, so those are pretty much the pros. I'm pretty sure there are some other pros. Now, uh, I want to, I forgot to say this. I'm not discouraging anyone to t not take it or, to, or encouraging people to take it. I'm just giving... You know the information honey I'm just giving out the information and my thoughts on it so next let's talk about the cons so there's some side effects I'm sure some of you have heard about the side effects honey which includes nausea vomiting some people experience diarrhea some people get constipation stomach pains a lot of gastrointestinal issues um, and when I was reading, and I thought this was interesting, I wanted to point that out, this slows down what they call the gastric motility in general. So it increases intestinal mucus production and decreases acid production, which, you know, that's supposed to break up our food. Um, 
and they said these changes may be primary cause, uh, may be the primary cause of the gastrointestinal issues that people are experiencing. Now, I hear that these side effects go away maybe after a month or so, um, but that's something to think about, right? If you are considering it. So I consider that a con. Um, also, the cost. So if you are healthy, praise God, you don't have diabetes, you're going to have to pay out of pocket, most likely, because your insurance company is not going to cover it. They'll cover it if it's for diabetes. Um, they, they won't. I don't think they'll cover it for weight loss. From what I'm hearing, I, I haven't validated that. But the cost, I think, can range from 1000 to 1700 a month. I believe that's what I read. Uh, that's a lot of money uh, for something that you will most likely have to take for the rest of your life. Because people, when they get, a lot of people, when they get off this drug, they gain the weight back. Um, so to me, that's a con. Um, there's also potential for muscle loss as well as fat loss. Um, let's see. And it's too soon to determine any long-term negative effects that can occur, uh, you know, after taking this drug for so long. And what else? And there's a shortage. So I, which I think is bad because a lot of people are buying it up for weight loss. But you have people who have diabetes that really need it and um, it's not available. So that's kind of uh, a con as well. Side note, so I have a client. <laughs> she was put on Ozempic for her diabetes. So she had the, she told me that it was the low dosage, meaning it's not the dosage for weight loss, but to control her blood sugar levels. Even with that small dosage that she had, uh, that she was taking, it caused those gastrointestinal issues that I talked about. Um, and I think she said it subsided like after a month. And it was affecting our training sessions because she wouldn't show up because she wasn't feeling well. Okay? So, um, yeah. So it sounds like those side effects are kind of common. Now, my thoughts on it. I say if you are in good health, and this is something that you want to try, you feel like this is something that you need, I say go for it. I would also say discuss this with your doctors because you want to make sure that there won't be any, I think they call them contradictions between that drug and any other drugs that you may be on. Um, you also got to come to the realization that you're most likely going to have to stay on this for the rest of your life unless, I guess, if you... Uh, start incorporating healthy uh, habits while you're on it. It's possible that you can get off the drug and not, um, you know, gain the weight back, which is what we would want, right? Um, I do think that people who are taking this type of drug should still exercise uh, as well as work on their healthy eating habits. Um, you know, just because, especially for health reasons, right? I mean, I know a lot of people are losing weight for wanting to take this drug to lose weight for health reasons, but the drug is not going to help you build muscle, right? To help you tone up and relieve stress and build bone density to fight against osteoporosis. That drug is not going to do that. Lifting weights is going to do that. That drug is not going to help improve your cardiovascular system, right? So that's why you do cardio to strengthen and improve the heart muscle. So I still feel like if you're taking this drug, you still need to do um, extra. You still need to exercise and eat healthy. Now that's my opinion. Um, yeah. So I say if that's what you want to try, go for it. So now to answer the question, would I try? This type of drug and the answer is it's a no for me <laughs> it's a no for me for a few reasons reason number one I don't like taking medications okay my doctors will tell you if they if they if I'm like I'm feeling a little something hey well let me prescribe this now I'm not gonna take it I'm gonna find a, a natural solution my doctors know that I don't like taking medications 
So, and if, and if you have to potentially take this for the rest of your life for weight loss, you know, or if I, if I, God forbid, I don't have diabetes, but if I had diabetes, of course I would take it for the rest of my life. But if it's for weight loss, there's something about the for weight loss, taking it for the rest of your life doesn't sit well with me. Okay. It's my, this is for me. May not be for you, but it's for me. I have to say that because, honey, it might be some trolls in the comments. I'm like, oh my God, why are you trying to tell people not to take it? No, I'm not telling people not to take it. I'm letting y'all know why I do not wish to try it. The other thing is I have PTSD from a weight loss drug that I took in the 90s. This was long before I got into the fitness industry, honey. This was long before... Um, it was like 11 years before I started, uh, got my first certification. So I wanted to take the quick route and took the Finfin. -fin. Some of you guys may know what Finfin -fin is or heard of it or was around during that time. And I took it and the, for two weeks and stopped because of the heart palpitations that I was experiencing. Lo and behold, even though this was FDA approved, now you know how they like to throw that out, it's FDA approved, they had to take it off the market because a lot of people started getting heart valve damage to, it's the mitral valve and the aortic valve, heart valves, that they were having damage to the point where they had to get them replaced. Now, mind you, Full transparency, I was on it for two weeks and stopped taking it because I didn't like the way this was feeling. I have a mild case of what they call mitral regurgitation, which is a symptom or a side effect that occurred with taking it. It's very mild. I am healthy. I, you know, the cardiologist says I'm good. There's nothing to be concerned about. I'm going to pray to the guys that I will never have to get a heart valve replacement. But that is some serious ish that this weight loss drug caused some people, not everyone, heart valve issues to the point where it had to be, they had to have replacements. And um, there was a class action suit where they had to pay, they paid some money out. And I think they also had to pay for people who had to get these um heart valve replacements. So that is some serious PS, PTSD for me. And I know that these semaglutides are different. It's not raising your heart rate, which I think that's what the FinFin -fin was doing. Um, it's, you know, a different part of the body. It's the brain that it's regulating, right? But for me, which I can't stress enough, based on that experience, it's a no for me. Not that anything like that is going to happen with that drug. It's a no for me. The other thing is, I don't give a rat's behind that it is FDA approved. Because a lot of things that are FDA approved have turned out to be bad for you. Like Fin Fin, for instance. Or Back in the day, that old Lestra, right? They had this fat substitute that these companies were, um, food companies were putting in snacks. So it was no fat, low fat. You can eat as much as you can. They don't have to worry about, at least that's how they were selling it, <laughs> about gaining weight. So you can eat those chips, honey, and ain't no fat gonna get in your body, right? And then all of a sudden, people started having gastrointestinal issues with that old Lestra, which was FDA approved, okay? People were getting loose stool, having little accidents <laughs> while they were out. It's true, true, for real, for real. Um, you know, diarrhea. Uh, I think some people were experiencing cramping too with this Olestra stuff, which was FDA approved. So I say all that to say it's a no for me because of my PTSD, because I don't like taking medications if I don't have to. And... I just don't trust the FDA. I'm going to just be real. I'm going to just be real. I just don't trust it. So, there you have it. I, it's a no for me. So, let's wrap this thing up. If this is something that you really want to try, I say go for it. Go for it. Hopefully, you won't um, experience any of these side effects. 
Uh, I would I would suggest that you, as I mentioned before, that you continue to exercise and watch what you eat and things of that nature as well, so that hopefully you won't have to take it for the rest of your life and that you make those changes to where you can maintain whatever weight loss you experienced with it. So that is it, my friends. I hope this information was helpful. I hope I answered your question. If I was going to take it, honey, you know who you are who asked me that question. <laughs> comments are you on it how, if you are what is your experience with it how what how much weight have you lost have you experienced any of the side effects um i also want to know in the comments if you are thinking about trying it or if it's a no for you i want to know why is it a no for you i gave you a reason why it's a no for me and uh make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel Hit that notification button, honey, so that you don't miss another video. And remember, love yourself through the process because it is a process. It's a hard process. I get it. Um, but that's it. Just love yourself. Until next time, people. Peace.